League Baseball is live and on the air on the show. Tonight, an intriguing matchup between the Rochester Red Wings and the Scranton Wilkesbury Rail Riders. Ladies and gentlemen, your it's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Rail Rider. Victor Robles digging in now, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. And we'll need to keep the hot chocolate flowing tonight. 42 degrees our game Fastball time two. temperature. Fastball just inside. Hit to third. Field it cleanly. And there's one gone to begin the evening. And now in the box, Jeremy De La Rosa. Jeremy De La Rosa. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Right fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. So now into the box is Rhett Wiseman. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. The 2 2 one more time. Opposite field to left. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll yeah. get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. So now, here is Tim LaCastro. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Fouled off. The 2 2. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full 3 and 2. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on is here right. in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Number 71. Throw over to the bag. Now the 2 1. And there he goes toward second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. He is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. Now the three and two pick. And he turns on one, sending it high and deep to right. And this one scoots all the way to the wall. LoCastro rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Batting third. The first baseman. Stepping in now, Chris Gittins. Now one hit foul over to the right side as the count moves to one and two. That's off the end of the bat foul and he might have been fortunate to stay alive that time. Here he comes again one two. Well, I think that pitch is the result of a lot of foul balls. He might have tried to do a little bit too much with it, trying to get him to swing through it, but it just ended up taking off on him. Full he count now, three and two. This is just the first inning, but this next pitch is a big one. You don't want to find yourself with two on, nobody out, and the three, four, five guys coming up. And he's able to lay off there for ball four. And that'll put runners in the corners now with still no nobody out. Great, great 
fouled away. Working for the punch out and the offering. Now a curveball knocked down at home plate. So the lead runner holds on, but the trailer will take second. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Now another 2 2. Looped out toward third. And this will be no problem over at third. And there's the first down. Now in the box, Aaron Hicks. He's got a chance to add to this early lead as he'll bat with a couple of guys in scoring position. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Hey, there's a ton of reasons I could give to you as to why this guy has been such a good pitcher in his career. But I think this is the biggest one. His ability to work out of nasty jams. Two guys in scoring position right here. Interested to see how he works out of this. And that'll bring in Esteban Florio. Another first inning no RBI way, opportunity for him here. Florio. The 1-1. One, one. Coming up now on 30 pitches in the inning. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Even though it's early on in this one, anytime you get runners in scoring position, you'd like to knock them in. Just out in front of that one, still two and two. So a full count now. Three, two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base open, it's not the end of the world if you do. Oh, and he hammers it to deep right field. Looking up is the right fielder. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. Plate, Miguel Andujar. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Another full count pitch home. Grounded back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So on a full count pitch, he's able to get on base and keep the inning going. Batting it. The third baseman. Mandy. To the plate now, Mandy Alvarez. Swing and a looper to left. Infante ranging into the outfield. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Drew Mendoza. He'll get us started in the top of the second. They've gotten a gut punch to start this game. There's no doubt about this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job one at bat at a time. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Nope, upstairs. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Mike Ford waits nope, on deck, and that misses ball for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. So the, the next to bat will be Mike, Mike Ford. Ford. Now the one and one pitch. Strike two, swinging. One and two. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off-speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Weighing inside with that two. one, a pretty easy take there. The 2-2 two -two pitch. Breaking ball called just a bit low. Jackson Flores will be next. And he fouls this one off. The next 3 2. Line drive base hit. Six. The second baseman, Jackson. Standing in now, Jackson Flores. 
And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high, three and two. Number 88 will be next. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, number 88. He stands in for the first time in this one. The 1-1. One, one. Misses, ball two. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Florio is there, two down. Striding in is Samuel Infante. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And that pitch misses for ball four. So some intrigue now as the bases are loaded here with two away. Now at the plate, number 38. He's ready for his first day B here in this one. Can't catch the corner away with the fastball. It's two and one. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Good fastball as he gets the swing and a miss. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Gittens is there as he makes the catch, and they'll tightrope out of danger as he strands the bases loaded. Now it'll be Rob Brantley, his past numbers with Steven Strasburg. He's just two for nine. He's taken him deep once. Into center field, line drive base hit. Now that the second baseman. Yeah. So now to the plate, Tim LoCastro. Two and one. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally ball. sometimes. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. To second for one. On to first, and they turn the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Andrew Velasquez. The 1-1 one, one home. Ball. Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. And it's fouled away. Two out, nobody on. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Ready now is Victor Robles. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Fouled off. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Popped him up. Gittens in foul ground. Makes the play one away. Next to stand in is Jeremy De La Rosa. He flew out in his last A.B. Bases are empty. One man out. A ball and two strikes. One and two. Well, he doubled up on that slider, so that tells me he's really feeling it at this point in the game. Good chance we'll see a heavy dose of that slider as this start continues. But unfortunately, right at the shortstop for the second out. Up next, Rhett Wiseman. He was cut down at second, attempting to stretch a base hit his first time through. 
Yeah, fellas, not sure if he got the go-ahead from his base coach or not. Can't believe he did, but it looked like he was running in mud right there. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, and here comes the first baseman, Chris Gittens. And that three misses, so it's a full strikes. count, three and two. Clint Frazier waits on deck. And good patience exercised as he works out the walk to lead off the home half of the third. Now batting. Left field. Next, it'll be Clint Frazier. Hit it Frazier. hard, but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that One last AB. Right. He hit that ball on the screws. That was a great hack right there. Timing was on point. Just sometimes you have bad bat barrel accuracy. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. The center fielder. Kittens Arrow. under at first with one gun Hit. in the inning. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Ready now to take his hacks again. Estevan, Estevan Florio blasted a two-run homer Florio. in his last at-bat. Well, you don't see this very often, Matty V, a two-strike straight changeup. But this guy changeup is one of the best in the league. Oh, we'll there. see if he tries that different approach this time. And maybe if he gets to two strikes, try to use the fastball a little bit more than that straight changeup. Ready on three and one. Here's the pitch. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Swing and a miss for the third strike as he went after what would have been ball four. Instead, the inning is over. New inning set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman, Drew Mendoza. The 2-2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. No one on with one down. Now and here is the outfielder, Mike Ford. Mike. One out, Ford. nobody on. Drilled right back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Oh, what a stop on the slide. The batter number 22, second base, Jackson. At the plate now, Jackson Flores. There's a ball ripped toward the gap in left center. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. Now batter. Number 88. In now, number 88. Ball. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. He's got a couple of pitches to deal with right here, but he's starting to lose command of his pitches. It might be time to take a step back and try to refocus and make him some good pitches. Ball even at two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Fouled away. Out of the stretch, the 3-2 pitch home. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Another payoff pitch. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. And he'll get over to... Oh, it kicks off his glove! How did he do that? The bat, number seven. Short Samuel. Into the box now. Infante. Samuel Infante. And he fouls this one off. Popped up. Velasquez is calling for it. And that's the second out of the inning. Into the box. Number 38 comes into this at bat. 0 for 1 in the ball game. And he popped him up. And this is going to be a foul ball. Already 24 pitches to this point in the inning. Ground 
grounder down the line at third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. One run scores. And the second run is in as well as they're on the board in a big way. It's four to two now. The center field, number 15, Victor. Into the box, Victor Robles. Payoff pitch one more time. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. So stepping in is Jeremy De La Rosa, trying here to plate the tying run from second. And there's ball two now. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later. So forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Not even a two and two. Two and two. Here it is. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And no one will get this one. He's set the 3-2. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. The right field. Next to hit, Rhett Wiseman trying to bring in the tying run from third here. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and standing in is the DH, Miguel Andujar. One and one, here it is. Swing and a miss on a pitch one outside. One and two now. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Curveball got him swinging for the first out. Now to bat, Mandy Alvarez flew out last time up. Mandy Alvarez. Strasburg on one and one. Hey. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole now, lot of confidence in this one. Wrong. So he chased out of the strike that's zone me. on that one. Mandy Alvarez becomes out number two this inning. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. And he That's takes ball four. ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. Now back. Second base so the lineup flips Tim. over and digging in Love. Tim LoCastro. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. Two ball. Swing two and strike. a miss strike two. Swung on, and this ball is absolutely crushed. Forget about it. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Standing in now, Andrew Velasquez. And it's fouled away. Another one two in the dirt but swung on and missed the throw to first is in time and the inning is over Reggie McLean a six foot two inch right hander jogs in to take over on the mound at the plate now is Drew Mendoza he's 0 for 1 thus far 
And the 2 1. Back up the middle. And this will find its way into center field for a leadoff single. Now back. The first base. Stepping in now, Mike Ford. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. Mendoza on it first, nobody out. And a slider just about gets away from him there as it runs in a bit too close for comfort. And there's ball three on a breaking ball that misses away. Jackson Flores is on deck. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. The so next to hit is Jackson base. Flores. One Jackson. for two with a double on the ledger so far. Set. Here's the 3-1. But he won't draw a throw. That's taken for ball four. And it's first and second now with one away. Runners are at first and second with one away. Right side. He's got it. There's one. Back to the pitcher covering. It's a double play, and the inning is over. Patrick Murphy, the 6'5 right-hander, takes over on the mound. Number 52, Patrick. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Chris Gittens. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Wiseman is there to put it away for route number one. So here's the cleanup hitter, Clint Frazier. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. The 1 1 home. That's the exact spot to lean on as a reliever. As a hitter, you just have to tip your cap and look for the next one. Swing, high drive, left field, and deep. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. At the plate now, Aaron Hicks. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Good bite to that sinker as he gets him to swing through it for route number two. So here is Esteban Florio. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Outside, two and one. Just low that time with the heavy sinker as it's rule ball three. Sinker misses, ball four. Here's Miguel Andujar now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Miguel Andujar. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favor three and one. And he misses again, ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. And now here is Mandy Alvarez, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty two and two. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? Hit weakly on the short. Reined in on the first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Top half of the sixth about to get started. And next will be the speed threat. Samuel Infante. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hit on the ground to third. And this will get through into left for a leadoff hit. Now back. 
number 38. At the plate, number 38. Hey. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. And a good sinker there. Gets him swinging for the first out. Next to dig in, Victor Robles. 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. Misses for the second ball. Three and one now. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. The three and one pitch. Swing and a ball hit to the left side, and this is going to wind up a souvenir. He's set. Here's the three and two. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. And now, Jeremy De La Rosa. No hits to this Jeremy point. De La Rosa. Here comes the one two hit on the ground down the first baseline and a sliding attempt at first but this sneaks by him a base hit not in time he's and he's in there with a double the right fielder number four red Wiseman in now Rhett Wiseman and he lays off the pitch down and away ball two Ball Won't three. go after the 2 1 sinker, and it's three balls in a strike now. Definitely in a tough situation facing the three hitter. You could work around him and maybe walk him to load the bases, but that just sets up the cleanup guy. And the runner from second is in to score. That makes it 7 to 5 now. Now that's third base. So now to the plate, Drew Mendoza. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Tyler Lyons comes on now, and this move looks to be all about playing the matchup here. Yeah, and I don't think there's any doubt about that, Matt. They want the lefty-lefty matchup, and that's usually the right move, but we'll just have to see how this plays out. Here's one that misses inside, and the count's run full now. Three and two. Wow, this is a pretty good at bat right here from down in the count 0 and 2 to work the count back to 3 and 2, and he's seen a lot of pitches, too. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. So stepping in is Jackson Flores. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. And the low 80s slider is in there and he's in control one and two. Got him, and that's going to force in a run. Now that high leverage at bat here, and standing in, it'll be number 88, as he'll go to work on trying to bring home the tying run from third. Line to the right side, leaps and makes a terrific catch, and with that, the side is retired. Stepping in, Rob Brantley. The 3 1. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Into the box, Tim LoCastro. Slow roller out to short. Gonna be a tough play. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Stepping now, up is Andrew Number Velasquez. 71. One run in and one gone so far at this inning. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Right fielder is on the run. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. 
So next to bat will be Chris Gittens. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. A one one. Two ball, one strike. Now a swing as he shoots this down the right field line. And that one skips up over the wall for a ground rule double. Standing in now, Clint Frazier. A little behind on that swing, and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. The one-two is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. Michael King is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 73. Michael. Seventh inning ready to roll. And stepping up as the shortstop, Samuel Infante. A 1 1. Swing and a liner. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Number 38. At the plate now, number 38. Now this is slowly hit to short, probably too slowly to get to. And indeed he won't look at second. He'll just flip it on over to first to take his shoe out. Runner at second, one away, and that'll bring up the outfielder Victor Robles. Runner breaks for third. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Another try at 2-2. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. Just off the end of the bat, it's a foul ball, and he'll stick around. The 2-2. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you. For making that pitcher work and battling it out. And that's outside. He lost him Let ball four. Jeremy De La Rocha. The 2 1 home. Hit back up the middle. Scooped up. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Aaron Barrett gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Number 32. Aaron Digging in, the switch hitter, Aaron Hicks. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Now the one and one pitch. Aye. Outside. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. The 2-2 two -two is count. looked at, and the Three count moves two. full. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. Hicks gets his lead at first. Nobody out. And he takes a cold strike, too. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. When a pitcher puts you in the proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. And another foul ball. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight-pitch at-bat. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Outside of the fastball as the count moves to two and one now. 
Hicks running from first. Fouled off. Here now the 2-2. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Next, it'll be Mandy Alvarez. They could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now a throw over to first. Don't want to forget about it. He's set and the 2-1 pitch. Hit in the air down the right field line. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Your Zach Britton please. has been summoned from the now bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53. Zach. Ready to begin the Ritten. eighth. And next it'll be the outfielder, Rhett Wiseman. The 1-1 one, one home. This is why the manager pencils these guys in in the middle of the order. Big spot. Time for them to get back in this game with a couple quality ABs. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now that Next will be the cleanup hitter, Drew Mendoza. It was a walk in his last trip. A 1 1. Bases are empty, one man out. And it's another kick. So back to back strikeout victims to start this relief outing. Now Here's Mike Ford trying to avoid becoming the third strikeout victim of the inning here. 1 1. There's the heavy sinker right there. What makes that pitch so difficult to hit is not only does it change eye levels, it actually changes plane. You go to hit it at one position, and it's six to eight inches dropping off the table and chasing your hands. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sinker, three and two now. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes. And that will retire the side. Your Luis Avilon is on to pitch now out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 70. Now at the plate, here is Rob Brantley. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. One and two. One and two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Now back, second baseman. Shin. Yeah. One one home. It is a changeup that's looked at for a ball. One out, nobody on. All even now, two and two. Here's the pitch. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. In time to first, and there are two away. Next, here is Andrew Velasquez. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. Hit weakly back to the mound. Over to first, and that retires the side. Garen O'Day comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 56. So now to the play, Jackson Flores. He's one for two in this one. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy thing to do, trying to score runs or bunch hits together off of a closer. Fouled away. A 
Another 1-2 delivery. Ball inside. Full count three and, three and two. Hey, leading off an inning in this situation, three balls on you. You have to know that a solo shot's not tying this game up. You have to find a way to get on base any way possible. And a swing and a miss on the fastball. And there's the first out here in the ninth. Number Riding forward now is the DH. Number 88. Hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. On the first, and they're an out away. Two gone here in the ninth. Next to hit is Samuel Infante, and he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Now the 2-1. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Swung underneath that pitch, so he was either trying to elevate the ball or he was expecting a pitch to be a sinker and drop more than it did. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Lofted in the air out toward right center. After it is Hicks. And he tracks it down. And this ball game is over. Well, it's getting more and more common in baseball now these days to use a ton of pitchers to get through a game. And it took six here to get the job done. But, hey, they'll do whatever they can to get a W. Eight to six, the final score tonight. Scranton Wilkesbury get the win on the heels of four home runs. Reggie McLean takes home the win. Steven Strasburg struggled and gets the loss after giving up six earned. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRozan, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshow.com. For the Rail Riders, eight runs on eight hits. No errors. They left six men on base. For the Red Wings, six runs, 11 hits. No errors. They left 13 men on base.